Hey everybody. Welcome to today's lesson on radiographic anatomy, demonstrated on routine projections of the thoracic or T-spine. In a previous lesson, we discussed the anatomy of the thoracic spine and which radiographic projections are routinely performed. So let's tie that information to the radiographs themselves. As a reminder, the routine radiographic projections of the thoracic spine are AP and lateral. Take a look at this radiograph. What projection is being demonstrated? How do you know? Let's find out the answers to these questions. If you said this radiograph is an AP projection of the thoracic spine, you're correct. While this may seem obvious to some, let's look at how we can tell radiographically. In this image, all 12 thoracic vertebral bodies, intervertebral joint spaces, and spinous and transverse processes, as well as the posterior ribs and costovertebral articulations are demonstrated. It is a true AP because the sternoclavicular joints are equidistant from the spine and the spinous processes are demonstrated at the midline of the vertebral bodies. Can you identify the anatomy? Working from superior to inferior, we can see the clavicles, first ribs, which articulate with T1, shown here, the remaining thoracic vertebral bodies of T2 through T12, spinous processes, this is T6, posterior ribs, and transverse processes, this is T9. Here, we have the lateral projection of the thoracic spine. In this image, the vertebral bodies, intervertebral joint spaces, and intervertebral foramina of T4 through T12 should be demonstrated. The intervertebral disc spaces should be open, and a true lateral is indicated by the superimposition of the posterior aspects of the vertebral bodies. Note, T1 through T3 will not be well visualized, so a cervical thoracic swimmer's lateral should be obtained if the upper thoracic vertebrae are of interest. We will take a look at that projection next. From superior to inferior on this image, we can see the intervertebral foramina, thoracic vertebral bodies, and open intervertebral joint spaces. Notice how the upper thoracic vertebrae are obscured, as previously mentioned. Because of this, let's take a look at what a cervical thoracic swimmer's lateral projection would look like. This swimmer's lateral is a special projection used to demonstrate the vertebral bodies and intervertebral disc spaces of C5 through T3. It can be used in both cervical and thoracic radiographic series to better visualize the area. In summary, the routine radiographic projections of the thoracic spine are AP and lateral. Obtaining clear, diagnostic quality images of the thoracic spine can help identify fractures and other pathologic conditions related to the thoracic spine and surrounding anatomy. Identifying and recognizing the relevant anatomy is the first step in ensuring the evaluation criteria are met.